you should see my finished coffee mug edit. And you can see that I've done a lot of different things, like I've cloned the background, I put some smoky layers on here. Notice how I did this in two different layers. That's one layer, and then this is the layer on top. And then I, I made the mask tint and flattened it. This is all in one layer now. If you look at that, it's masked and all in one layer now. Now I still have the words from before from my button, but that was just to get the idea of my theme. So now, again, what I have to do to get ready to make my um, coffee mug is I have to flatten all my visibles. So I've already saved this. I've saved this as my coffee mug working image. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. And I'm going to go to image, excuse me, layer, flatten, visibles. If I don't flatten all of these, I can't copy this as one unit. So I'm going to uh, select all edit, copy, and then go make my new coffee mug. Now my coffee mug is three inches by three inches, so I have to uh, change it. I'm going to title it coffee mug and make it three by three. Make sure it's in 72 and go OK. Again, that's awfully small, so I'm going to enlarge it to make a larger working image so I can see what it looks like. And I'm going to go edit paste. Now when it pastes in, it's way too big. I knew it was going to be way too big because it's uh, 12 inches on the other one. So I have to go under image, image size and take it back down. Excuse me. Wrong tool. Edit, transform, scale and take that down to three inches. I'm holding the shift key to make it proportionate and I'm just going to eyeball it. So as I finish this recording, I'm going to resize it until it fits all the way into that picture. Now it's very pixelated. I don't need to worry about that because that has to do with my enlargement. So if I view it at actual size, it's not as pixelated. Now all I have to do is go ahead and put my text in. And since I don't remember the text that I did before, I am can go back and open my button. Because I don't really remember um, the fonts I used. Now, because this is flattened, I just can't pick up that text. But I can at least look at what the fonts were and go ahead and add my text. And there it is, copy, copy mug. Whoops. It's my untitled document. Whoops. And so I'm going to again enlarge it and call it um, John Denver. And I'm going to make it big, and then I'll change the font to whatever it goes on. I mean, the font that's on my button. And I can change the font a little bit by making it bigger, but I don't want it to be that big. To review, I'm duplicating the layer, bringing it down, and then it's going to say the heavenly tour. And that's how easy it is to 
use your themes um, so that you can just add, add a little bit and make something completely different. So again, making it slightly smaller using the bend tool or the um, type warp tool. And then I'm going to need a drop shadow. And that's how easy it is to make a coffee mug eyedropper tool to pick up the color on a little bit of blue and put that on a portfolio page with all your source files and you've got number two assignment for the term.